platinum gray exterior paint, black wheel package, and a panoramic sunroof. This is the 2025 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology, and we have it here today at Volkswagen Brandon. We gotta check this thing out and see what it's all about for the 2025 model year. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. We're behind me here today at Volkswagen Brandon in Florida is the 2025 Atlas SE with technology and we have it done in platinum gray with some options like the panoramic sunroof and the most obvious one, the black wheel package. So with that said, I wanna show you guys what we have here today when it comes to options, features, and what this entails for the 2025 model year when it comes to the Atlas SE with technology. So with no further ado, let's get right to it. Big shout out to Volkswagen Brandon for letting me take a spin around this Atlas SE with technology. If you guys want this 2025 model year or any other model they have here today, make sure you guys check the link in the description, get their website, get their phone number, give them a call, get one of these today. Now what's good when it comes to under the hood? We're talking about performance for the 2025 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology. Well, we're looking at a turbocharged intercooled DOAC 16 valve inline four with an iron block and aluminum head and direct fuel injection with 269 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque with the eight speed automatic transmission front wheel drive for this model. Now, with that said, you're looking at a zero to 60 in 7.3 seconds with a total top speed limited to 117 miles per hour. And when we mention dimensions for this three row SUV, we're looking at a total wheelbase of 117.3 inches with 200.7 on the length, 78.3 inches on the width, 70.4 inches on the height, and a total curb weight of 4,630 pounds. Now this is a stealthy finish for the 2025 Atlas because the platinum gray with the black wheels is gonna give it a completely different look than what you're used to. Let's start with up front. As you guys can see, the platinum gray metallic for the sun doing its thing, shining bright, and you guys will see how that looks and how it flakes in the sun. And then you guys will see that we do have the VW logo, front and center, and then we have chrome surrounds when it comes to the grill. Completely chrome strips all the way through, even on the lower half, and then the functional feed through here as well, with the LED light bar going from one side to the next, right to the LED running lights, and then the turn signals. We will see all of that illuminated shortly when it comes to that beautiful headlighting unit. Now with that said, you will also see the lower fascia with the aluminum front lip, and then in the grill here is actually functional because it's not just looks, it's about function. It is about actually breathing and cooling. Now with that said, we do also have the plastic cladding done in black to go all the way from one side to the next, right here underneath the side blades, which are also an aluminum and that aluminum feel. And then you guys have the plastic cladding as well to match with the lower half as well and the platinum gray finish integrated inside of here with this boomerang front fascia as well. Looking very premium. I love that look. What do you guys think though? Stealthy up front with a little luxury up front as well. Now this is what you guys came to see. The 20 inch black wheel package when it comes to the side profile, looking beautiful. Check that out with the monochrome VW center cap there as well. And then the plastic cladding to help protect that um, platinum gray finish when it comes to the overall look. Same around the side skirts as well. The plastic cladding to protect the paint. The mirror caps and the door handles are also in the platinum gray finish. And then you guys will also see the aluminum trim right underneath. B pillar right there, C pillar right there. And then the roof rail is done in black with, yep, we got a glass roof. We got a big panel roof. We got to show off once we get inside as well. Gloss black shark fin antenna. And then the platinum gray finish for the spoiler with the black side blades. Again, the side profile, that's what you guys are really going to love when it comes to the specific spec. Now, let's talk about the rear profile because the IQ lighting takes front and center stage with the VW logo right there as well. And the Atlas badging right there in the chrome strip. All of this is a centerpiece going from one side to the next, wrapping around the side. And you guys will see IQ light badge right there as well, letting you know what we're working with. Now, you will also see the third brake light integrated into the spoiler there. And then come to the lower hatch where you will see the SE badging right there as well. And then you guys will see the reflectors going across all the way through with the chrome fox tips when it comes to the exhaust. Plastic cladding again to help protect the paint. And we do have a tow hook. Now with this front wheel drive, you're looking at around 2,000 pounds for your towing capacity. So with that said, 
overall practicality, stealthy looks, and some technology with class. What do you guys think about the rear of this technology SE? Now let's talk about cargo and practicality because the SE trim has a lot of it with all three rows and we have captain's chairs here that we will go over in just a moment once we hop inside. But let's talk about cargo because with all three rows folded up, well, you're looking at around 21 cubic feet. If I were to fold these two third row seats down, you will look at around 56 cubic feet of space. If I were to fold these down and the captain's chairs for the second row, you're looking at 97 cubic feet of cargo volume, which is insane. So with that said, you guys will see where the practicality is when it comes to stowage on each side, when it comes to lifting up the false floor and having even more under here. All right, so you got your tools, extra storage underneath this floor, again, to make things practical and easy to get to. I mean, it is just a great place when it comes to the overall storage and practicality and cargo of the Atlas. But we need to hop inside shortly to show you what the inside is all about. So when we talk fuel economy, 22, 20, 26. That means 22 combined city and highway, 20 for the city and 26 for the highway with regular fuel going inside of this Atlas SE. Now we have to check out the illumination. As you guys can see that beautiful light bar going seamlessly from one side to the next and then shining right into the LED turn signal here, switchback LED turn signal with the headlamps illuminated here, looking really sharp. And then the amber reflector in the mirror cap, as you guys will see there. And then we got the IQ lighting looking gorgeous with the Atlas moniker, turn signals, running lights, everything shining so brightly. Key fob looking beautiful as always. Backside, you get the gloss black with the BW logo around the sides, chrome, and on the bottom, you will also have a physical key fob just in case your battery dies, you still need to get inside the vehicle. Now, you also have on the flip side, remote start, panic, lock, trunk release, and unlock for your key fob for this Atlas looking gorgeous per usual very premium when it comes to this key fob now let's hop inside of this premium suv with 61 cubic feet of space titan black interior as you guys can see leather wrap beautiful diamond pattern on the seats with the perforated leather the white stitching as well to go with it looking beautiful with that big panel roof letting in a lot of natural lighting now you guys will also see on the door panel here well we have wood trim as you guys will see looking very nice and feeling very nice the aluminum feel for the door handle and the bezel around with the speaker there you have your um you're not trunk release your locks there trunk release is down here then you also have in the door cards your leatherette white stitching and then the perforated leatherette with these soft touches for the armrest and the white stitching as well then you have your window controls here and your window locks then you also have the speaker grill down there with cup holder space too now you also have the aluminum side sill there as well and some extra storage right there in that center console now when you hop inside iq drive 12 inch infotainment digital instrument cluster i mean this is a great place to be when it comes to the inside of an atlas now we got the climate track um climate control things like this flat bottom steering wheel with the white stitching it's just a lot of quality things when it comes to this overall trim and feel so let's talk about what's in front of us because with this flat bottom steering wheel you do have the aluminum trim on the sides looking really nice with the gloss black inners and then the vw logo right here on the airbag then our controls for volume and our controls for tracks when it comes to the radio driver assistance controls right here on this side and then we have our heated steering wheel we also have our voice free, voice free or hands free control shall i say and then you do have your controls for your digital instrument cluster as you guys will see here where i can change what viewables i have when it comes to the information displayed on the screen just by pressing view by pressing left and then up and down and then selecting by pressing ok depending on which side i want to go with now press right Go up and down select press ok so again really customizable system when it comes to that setup now you also have paddle shifters mounted to the steering wheel so you always know where they are telescopic steering wheel so i can actually pull it forward up and down and then lock it into place now i can also see there i have driver assistance controls on this side but then also our lighting controls with our windshield washer controls there on that side on this side here you also have your lighting controls we're having an auto but if i want all those lights on i just press front and now everything is on but i can press whoop 
I don't want to press max AC, which I just did, or max HVAC when it comes to the front and rear. You can do that as well for defrosting. Now, you also have the wood grain trim and gloss black with perforated leatherette and the regular leatherette with the white stitching all throughout this center console going from one side to the next. Again, they're very good with flowy, seamless lines. So you guys will see it all throughout this whole moniker here. And then you guys will see the glove box. Plenty of space there, right here in the center, while it's charging and USB-C plugins, little extra storage. This big central tunnel here, which we talked about with the space underneath. We do have leatherette with the white stitching, gloss black for the central. Cup holders, we have our start stop button, park. We have our electric parking brake, and then we have our drive mode selector here, between drive, neutral, I go in reverse, that backup camera is coming up. Now, you will press park there to get it back in the park, and then extra storage here, armrest, with the white stitching, open that up. We do also have USB-C for the charging and extra storage, a lot of extra storage here. It's a ton of space. Now, touchscreen UI, you guys know a lot about this. Heated and ventilated seats, so you guys will see the controls here. You'll also see the very interactive, uh, interactive, very intuitive, and very responsive touchscreen 12 inches, as we talked about here looking very good now with that i always play with the system you guys know i love this system um it is actually just so easy to use so i like to just show you guys as i'm talking just pressing things and just showing you know the responsiveness and how everything works it is one of those things to where don't take this system for granted don't sleep on it you do also have your climate controls here haptic buttons here then you have your radio controls haptic buttons as well with the touch screen off with that right there now you also have assist for driving parking and then you will also see climate controls here classic smart and air care then you have your drive mode selector eco comfort sport and custom with your hazard buttons there and you can also cover that up as well for a little bit of extra privacy now with that said looking up top you also see vent shading in the glass for the big panel roof one touch swipe i could just slide it like that Cover that up, do the same with the glass as well. And then on this side, you will see visor, light, mirror. All the great things you guys love inside of this Atlas is here for the SE with technology. So we need to hop in the back, right? Three rows, and as you guys can see, well, we have the captain's chairs. I mean, come on, this is the best way to do it because there's that center feed through to the third row. Now, when we talk about space for the rear, we're talking about 53 cubic feet of space when it comes to the second row, 39 cubic feet of space when it comes to the third row. So first things first, let's hop right inside the second row to show you how easy this would be. And as you guys can see that we do have the floor mats here to help protect the uh, mats and everything there as far as the carpet. And then obviously the same beautiful touches when it comes to the seating, where you guys will see the diamond pattern, the perforated leather, white stitching, all of that in the seats as well and a very comfortable back here too. And then in the door paneling, you guys will see privacy shades, first things up, right? So you see the privacy shade, sunshade, and then you guys will also see the wood trim to match, just like up front, aluminum door handles, the leatherette for the door cars here, where you have preferred leatherette and the white stitching, the armrest and the white stitching, soft touches there, speaker grill, and all your storage and cup holders there as well. Now you also have right here front center, oh well first, pockets for storage all right and then front and center your lcd hvac screen here and then usb-c plugins 115 volts right there when it comes to that now we can look up we got some extra sunlight and that will help us get back here i can actually fold this up too for extra use i can hop back here like i said about 39 cubic feet of space so you guys will see now it's a little tight for me being a grown adult but this is a good place for someone that's a little bit smaller to sit in with the pull tabs to help you get the seats up you also have extra stowage cup holders usb-c plugins here as well and the same beautiful finishes when it comes to the seating as well like up front so again it's a nice place to be when it comes to the overall package of the interior of the space and again another way to fold down the seat is do it like that as well it makes it easy. I like to use the captain's chairs because I like to show you how easy it is when you have the captain's chairs to just slide through the middle rather than stepping over the ledge, but you can do both. And this is better when you're getting out of the vehicle versus just hopping in and coming back in. So it's good for egress and ingress when it comes to this whole setup. Now let's talk about our sticker breakdown for the 2025 Atlas SE with technology in platinum gray metallic, Titan black leather at interior, and the HP automatic with Tiptronic front wheel drive. So 
with that we are looking at a price starting off at forty two thousand three hundred five dollars we got a couple options here and a 1425 destination charge was going to give us a total of forty seven thousand three hundred twenty six dollars now how do we get there platinum gray metallic exterior paint that's free titan black leatherette interior that's free we do have a twelve hundred dollar power slitting and sliding panoramic sunroof which is worth that money now you can also see that we do have the dual row two captain's chair package 670 or sorry 695 dollars we also have the 20 inch black wheel package which is 595 dollars the auto dimming review mirror with home link 405 dollars the monster mats with the trunk liner 296 dollars and the vw pre-k prepaid schedule maintenance with 295 dollars on that with the first a roadside kit 110 dollars there and then everything else you see here guys is standard performance exterior interior safety and driver assistance technology and convenience make sure you guys check the link down below check out the website get this full sticker and full detail see the warranty information at four years fifty thousand miles and everything else that comes with here at Volkswagen Brandon. So just over $47,000. What are you guys feeling about this stealthy platinum gray with the black 20 inch wheel package? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, but also make sure you guys check the links in the description for Volkswagen Brandon's website, their phone number, so you guys can see the inventory and get a hold of them and get one of these beautiful cars today. Now, make sure you guys also subscribe, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video, and we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.